This is a quick demonstration of the spline fillet modifier. First of all, um, it has to be on top of a base editable spline. So, for example, a rectangle, you first have to convert. Let's put the modifier on. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty simple interface, but uh, we'll go over it in a bit. First, uh, if you want to uh, remove the modifier again, and you first have to disable it, then remove it. So if you don't uh, disable it first, it will just uh, remember the state it is in right now and keep it that way. So as you can see, it stays exactly the same. If you don't want that, disable it first. Uh, we'll draw a new spline. Something like this. The modifier on top. Let me turn on the vertex sticks. Okay. Okay, well, fillet or chamfer is exactly what it says. It's a fillet or a chamfer. Then for the main part, uh, it's divided into uh, three parts. Um, and you have two uh, angle thresholds which affect which not get affected by which radius. So right now uh, they are set to 0 and 180, so every, every knot get affected by and this is the, the middle uh, spinner. So for example, if I uh, move up this threshold, at one point these two angles uh, get below 68 uh, degrees, so then they get affected by this spinner, which right now is set to 0, but as you can see, just affects those two knots. Same goes for uh, this one. So right now this angle is above 124, so it gets affected by this spinner. And this part, exclude knot part, um, does exactly what the title says. It excludes knots by number. So for example, if I want to exclude knot number 2, I just do exclude it like this. Same goes for 4, 5, etc. This gives you a lot more uh, control with the modifier. Uh, right now I set it to 25, but if you want to have more knots, you can go into the script and uh, add a more check buttons. But not the nice thing of this modifier is it works just like every other modifier. You can put other modifiers on top. See, let's put extrude on it. And like a shell on it. You can put like an edit poly on top of it and like let's see. Maybe we move these up a bit. Maybe like bevel this. See that? And you can still go back to the Spline fillet modifier and still adjust the, uh, the corners. As you can see, it's it works like a charm. Well, that's basically it. Well, thank you.